Greetings, I'm Ken Miller, and this is Team 64, a deep dive into the 1964 Cincinnati Reds, who were involved in one of the most thrilling pennant races in baseball history. Thank you for once again taking this journey with me as we episodically look back at this club 60 years later. This is Episode 4, Making Their Move. As late spring was settling in, two of the Red Stars had yet to find their footing. Both Frank Robinson and Pete Rose were hitting under 200. But both players seemed to be turning the corner, in particularly on a May 5th game versus the Pirates. Trailing 4-2 in the ninth, Frank Robinson hit a changeup over the center field fence with Veda Pinson aboard to tie the game. Following an Edwards double, a Cardenas single, and a Ruiz intentional walk, Pete Rose hit a bases-loaded single up the middle for the game winner. They closed out a 5-5 homestand, and the club sat 10-9. As the Reds hit the road for games with New York, Philly, Pitt, and Chicago, Not Whole Baseball was heating up in the dry state. Now, Not Whole Baseball is as much of a tradition in Cincinnati as the Reds are. Over 1,700 teams began action in Greater Cincinnati in early May of that year. Not Whole Baseball crowned three champs, and they played it in August, and it was three classes in 32 districts. So how big was Not Whole? Well, in 1934, when it was started, there were 350 players. By 1964, there were over 26,000. In 1949, Reds Vice President Gabe Paul began a benefit game to help fund the ever-growing knothole baseball scene. It was in March of 1934 when Reds President Larry McPhail started the program of the knothole club, which allowed boys free admission to 25 games that season. So plans were also drawn up for a baseball school, which turned into, of course, a baseball league, headed up by former Red Apa Rixie. There would be three classes, A, B, and C and three teams would open up at Crosley Field to kick off the season. On April 28, 1934, at 1 o'clock, Crosley Field hosted the first ever knothole baseball game in Cincinnati when the Class C 11- and 12-year-old Riverside Rangers played the Deer Creek Juniors. At 2 p.m., it was the Class B 13- and 14-year-old game, Dunkman and Dalbert first General Protestant Orphans Home. And at 3.30, it was a Class C 16-year-old match, the Hilltop Comets vs. Little Brothers. As Not Whole grew and supporters climbed aboard to sponsor, the Reds led the charge with the Powell Crosley Jr. Amateur Baseball Fund, which held the benefit game, which was an exhibition game versus an American League team. And this game, the proceeds from this game, would help pay for equipment, uniforms, etc. But the biggest item in need? Baseballs. From 1949 to 1964, over 165,000 baseballs were purchased. But unfortunately, in that 1964 Not Whole game... The Reds fell to the White Sox 3-1. The Reds closed out the month of May, splitting a doubleheader in St. Louis, which put them at 21-21, and 21, 500, the same percentage they were when they started the month, 7-7. Seven and seven. But there were signs, as summer was on the way, that things were heading in the right direction. Robinson, who started the month hitting in the 180s, was now at 315, with 24 RBIs. Leo Cardenas was hitting 321, which led the team. And they won 7 of 10 games to start the month of June, including the game of the year to that point, a 5-4 walk-off win versus the Cardinals at a rain-soaked Crosley Field, as Darren Johnson hit a pinch-hit, bases-loaded single to cap off an incredible four-run rally in the ninth to seal the victory. The Reds sat just a game and a half back on June 13th. With the passing of the great Willie Mays, I thought it would be appropriate to close out the show listening to an on-field interview with the Say Hey Kid at Crosley Field. This is the Diamond Dope pregame show with Reds broadcaster Claude Sullivan from June the 24th, 1964. I'm Cam Miller, and thanks for listening. Our guest here on Diamond Dope today is Willie Mays, the great center fielder of the San Francisco Giants who are in town to wind up this stand with the Cincinnati Reds. Willie, the ball hasn't been going for hits for you like it was in the early part of the season. Uh, How do you feel about your hitting right at the moment? Well, I have over seven right now in this series, but uh, as I told him in the first part of the season, uh, there's no way that I thought I could hit 400. If I wind up a little over 300, I'd be a a very happy guy because then I know that uh, I'm helping the club some kind of way. 
Willie, how do you feel about the other phases of your batting game? By that, I mean your extra base hits and your runs batted in. Well, I, I think I go along pretty good. I, I have another just about over a, a half a season of play, and I have about 57 runs batted in, and I think about 55 or 7 runs scored. So I, if I can get to the 100 mark, I, I think that's uh, I'm pretty good, too. Willie, there's other batters on this ball club that are doing pretty good right now, too, aren't there? Well, uh, the guys are coming along pretty nice. I, the average doesn't show uh, uh, what they are really doing on this club because uh, uh, a lot of times uh, you start real slow. But I, I think everybody on this ball club has been very played a very big uh, uh, part in uh, winning ball games on this club. Willie, talking about uh, your batting, last night uh, manager Dark gave you a rest in that first game. How do you feel after you get to set out a game like that, and yet you don't really get a day off? Well, I, I didn't set out. I was in, I was in the game at the sixth yeah, inning. You got in uh, there a pinch hitter, I know. That's right, and I played two innings. But actually, for myself, uh, I feel that uh, uh, over the course of a season, I will have to get a, a number of days off because the way that the travel now this year, the way the uh, schedule are rained, the way we haven't rained our games, and uh, actually we haven't had a uh, day off for about two or three weeks, and uh, it gets a little hard sometimes. But, of course, uh, I love to play baseball, and uh, sometimes uh, with me going out there knowing that uh, I don't have too much to put out, so I guess he feel that way that I would probably rest me for a couple of days. Willie, it's been said that you play baseball in such a way as you consume about all the energy that for that given day you've got to put out. So when you run into heat like here in Cincinnati as opposed to that cool, gentle weather of San Francisco, I guess it makes a difference, doesn't it, in your conditioning program? Well, I think it does. Uh, like in St. Louis, I think I lost about five or six pounds in St. Louis and come to Cincinnati and you probably lose three or four more pounds here. Uh, I feel that uh, going back to San Francisco will help me a great deal. I can put on a little weight there, so uh, it won't hurt me too much. Willie, I was talking with Billy Pierce when the Reds were out in San Francisco. He said he thinks for the older ball players that type of weather is very good for them. You go along with that? Well, I don't, I don't know about pitching, but for myself, I like hot weather. And I, I, I played in New York uh, come a, a number of years, and I guess I was younger, though. But uh, I feel that uh, I like the hot weather more. I can get loose, uh, a little looser uh, in hot weather than in cold weather, so I, I prefer hot weather. Willie, there's been some talk that uh, you play a lot of golf, and your comment is that it's helped your batting. I didn't say that. I, I I don't know who said that, but I I don't play a lot of golf. I've only been playing for three months. So I don't know uh, who said that it helped my betting. I've been playing baseball for 10 years, and uh, a lot of times, uh, I guess because you take up a game, they say it's improved, but I, <laughs> I don't see how, you know. Willie, uh, do you think it uh, golf hurts in any way your baseball swing? Well, baseball to me is mostly conditioner. Uh, a uh, guy that uh, really is not in condition, he doesn't get the full value of, of baseball, and I think golf does that for me. It keeps me in real good condition. As far as uh, combining the two together, I think uh, there's two different types of game right there. Willie, just for a few seconds, could you talk a little bit about how you feel about the National League pennant race as it's going right now, the Giants and the Phillies, the Reds, several other teams having a good crack at it? Well, first of all, I don't predict anything. I don't like to do that. I, I leave it up to the experts, the managers, <laughs> and, and guys like that. Uh, I, I can say this. I think uh, Philadelphia is, is one of the most improved clubs this year, and I feel that uh, uh, they might be one of the clubs to beat this year, and I don't expect to leave the Dodgers out all season either. You think the Dodgers will be back then from this rough road they've had? Well, I, I feel that uh, once they can combine uh, two or three pitches together, they're going to have a real good, good ball club. What about this club of yours? How do you feel about the Giants this year? Well, of course, I'm playing over here, and I, I feel that uh, if we can just continue to stand on top, uh, well, close to the top, we'll, we'll make a good run at it. Is this as explosive as the San Francisco teams have been in the last five years, do you think? Well, I don't know. I, I, like You've I say, I don't. Innings. Well, we've been winning ball game. That's the main thing. Uh, you, as long as we win, you always got something to say why you win, why you don't win. But uh, as far as uh, uh, the guys that hit the long ball, they've been here for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. Willie, thank you very much. We know you're anxious to get along here. We appreciate yeah, the visit. three times. Best, best <laughs> of luck to you. Willie Mays, ladies and gentlemen, has been visiting with us here on this edition of Diamond Dope. We invite you to stay tuned for the ball game now. And uh, Wade Hoyt will have the star of the game on immediately after that. We'll be back with uh, the scoreboard. It's all ahead here on WCKY.